welcome back. And I am excited to join my next guest, Jim Marimovich. You're going to recognize Jim. Glad to be back. Head pro at Old South. Nice to have you here, Jimmy. You too. Uh, Jim is actually here to talk about a tournament. I said on uh, going out that it was the third annual. It's actually the fourth annual Easy Go Pro Am. And I've played in a few of these. This is a big, big, big event. Brings out it's it's a great format. Brings out a lot of really good players. And I think you've got another full field coming up this year, right? I do. I anticipate I can take 25 teams. I have 18 already signed up. So if you haven't got your team in yet, give me a call at Old South, and I'd love to have you. What's the number? 785-5353. Just call that number and call they can get number. signed up. Yes, sir, right there. Uh, what's the price? Uh, $80 a player. Okay. That includes dinner afterwards, uh, prizes, and great payouts. One pro and three or four amps? One pro and four amps. And four amps. Right. And you play a better, just a better ball? or what's It's the um, or it one strength? gross, one net, and you can't use the same ball twice. Oh, that's a great format. Yeah, so, so everybody really needs to play a little right, bit. Right, right. They need yeah. to pay attention. Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, um, what is the, can I get started yeah. here, Dean? Where did it start? Why, why Easy Go? Why your place? How did the whole thing get rolling? Well, I, I didn't have anywhere else to play pro-ams. There's not many around here, and I just did something I've always wanted to do when I took over as a head pro, and um, I asked Easy Go if they would sponsor it, and they ran with it, and they put up the purse. It's a guaranteed purse of $1,500, and the minimum is 1000 oh. so it's a pretty good pro purse. Yeah. Sure. And then I have um, Hard Gray helps me, Culligan Water, Speedy signs and you know a couple other small sponsors and uh, it's so you've done a little legwork to get this thing going. I have, yeah, but I'm very proud of it. It's uh, thanks to you know like I say, uh, easy go, but I've enjoyed doing it and I, and I do play in it. Unfortunately, I haven't ever cashed a check yet, but <laughs> I'm still trying. It's so. a little hard to play and run the thing. I can tell you because I've yeah. done the same yeah, thing, and right. it's a little hard to get it your sure focus. Right. Worried about all the other things you've got to do, but it's um, hey. You never know. This I enjoy it. Year. It's, yeah, it's now, fine, now, yeah. yeah, in addition to the the pro and the amateur scores combined, you also have an individual pro payout, right? Exactly. I think it pays out at like five to six hundred dollars, which I yeah. guess is a pretty good one day purse. And yeah, sure. Last year I think sixty eight won it, or year before we got rained out. Doyle last Ricks. Year. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's it's a great format. Again, I've played in it a couple times, right. and I've actually been asked. I've got to be out of town next week, or I'd be playing in it. It's just a great tournament. Um, if you've not ever played in it, it uh, it's it's just a great format for good golfers. Right. You know, and, uh, and if you have a high handicap, you know, we do skins there's and a, so forth. There's and, a place yeah. for them, too. Yeah, sure is. Well, yep. more than that, it's a fun day, though, too, right. because Old South is really, you know, it's such a diverse golf course. It's yeah. got so many holes that just have so many different looks. It's not like a course where, you know, it's hard to remember the holes. It's easy to remember the holes yeah. out there, and, you know, the views of the marsh are stunning. So, you know, regardless of how you play, I would think it's still a very fun day. Right. They have done a little work out there. You know, it would be surprising. They've done a lot of tree work on 16 and 17. Okay. And it's opened up the whole really? uh, sound, and it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, good. I like it when they open up holes. I, so, I always like yeah. it when the holes get wider. Especially not the round hole, but on the marsh. <laughs> I'm talking about just a room to yeah. hit it. <laughs> you know? yeah, if you've ever played there, especially 60. Yeah, it's beautiful yeah. now, though. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's unbelievable. So. You, you do have some incredibly expansive views right. there, like on hole 7, 16. Those are just yeah, absolutely wonderful. gorgeous. And when you get a high tide there, yep. it's almost like you're playing right in yeah. the middle of the water. Exactly right. Um, corporate outings. I know you guys um, are looking to do more of those. Exactly. What's going on with, with corporate outings? Well, and, they've kind of slowed down every, yeah. you know, in the last 10 years. It used to be during, you know, Heritage Week. You, rent the course to MCI sure. or somebody for an enormous amount of money and that has slowed down but I, you know if anybody out there is interested in doing any kind of outing corporate or fundraiser just give me a call at Old South I'd love to help you out and like love to host your event yeah and the we, way you guys run it with you know just the efficiency of your staff right. and then the food and the gals and the food right. and beverage I can I can just vouch that I've had a couple snacks and meals there and yeah. I've walked out of there with a very happy tummy yeah, well, that's when we've said this about Jim's uh, uh, organization there. Um, you've got very low attrition. You've right. had the same, pretty much, for all intents and purposes, the same staff with Derek and David and, uh, you know, your girls in the shop, Tammy right. and, yeah. and Cindy. And it, it's just, it's like family going in there. You see the same folks, and they're on board with your vision and very your direction. Much so. Yeah, and they are. So when these guys do a tournament, it's like lock and load. They're ready to go. Yeah, thanks. So yeah, if you, if you have an, a, a corporation looking for a place to hold an outing, these guys you could couldn't get a better group to do it for you. Thank you, um, Jim. Uh, on a a little bit uh, less exciting and and actually very sad note, I, I know that uh, a very dear friend and an employee of yours had 
passed away recently. That's correct. Yeah, last uh, two Saturdays ago, Dave Turhar did. He was an assistant of mine for the last five years. Wow. Um, I knew Dave real well. You remember Dave. Uh, couldn't be a, a nicer, uh, more subdued personality. Right, yeah. Perfect kind of guy to have in a shop. Um, and I know it was a sudden. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was very sudden. Thing. And, and uh, you know, I've worked, I met Dave 22 years ago. We worked maintenance together at Pumana Hall when it was first open. And, you know, we've become friends and, you know, we've worked together two or three different times. And I kind of brought him back to the golf business five years ago at Old South. And mm. he's been a tremendous asset. And now he will be dearly missed by everybody. So. Yeah, and, and, and not to, to harp on the negative, but, you know, it, it, it is a, it's a reminder how precious life right. is, how right. fragile life is, how our quickly own, it can change. Yeah. Our own mortality is just is, is so vulnerable. Right. And it's a reminder to, to, look, we live in a beautiful place. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. Right. Yep. Enjoy every day as if it were your last. Love as if it were your last. Valentine's coming tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Grab and hug your, your sweeties. And, you better and, get out and get your cars. I, I got work to do here. <laughs> let, let, me, let me tell you. But, uh, you know, our, our condolences Thank you to so you. much. Thanks. Uh, everybody, you know, Dave had a lot of friends, and he will be dearly missed by everybody. First class, and, uh, you know, he's right along with how you run your shop. Yeah. He, he did it with dignity and, and Thank pride. You. So we're really sorry to hear that. But uh, sounds like this, this tournament, 18 spots, you've got, what, seven left? Seven, yeah, eight, hurry up. Eight left. It's, it's going to sell out. So Guys, hurry up. Call Jimmy. Call one of his staff. Get your entry in, and uh, you're not going to play in a more fun, more exciting. And If uh, you're not in, you can't win. That's, that's right. It. Exactly. Well, it's always good to see thank you, Thank you for having friend. me, Daniel. Yeah, you bet. Thank you, Chris. Jimmy. Thank you so much. And, Congratulations uh, to your students. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And good luck with that tournament. Thank let you. Us, let us know how it goes. I will. Thanks. And I hope we'll be looking to see you draw a check this I'm year. I'm trying. Yes, all sir. All right. Make some birdies. <laughs> uh, that's all the time we have uh, here. When we come back, we're going to be joined by Waste Management talking about the Child Abuse Prevention Tournament coming up at Spring Island. Stay with us.